When I was younger, I found this book called Awaken the Giant Within by a guy named Anthony Robbins. Today he's known as Tony Robbins. But uh, that book really helped me out at a young age to discover how my brain worked a little bit. Uh, when it came to school or parents, they didn't really teach me this information that I was getting out of this book. And I thought it was really great because it helped me really zero in on what I wanted to do in life. And I believe that a lot of things that I do today are a result of starting off with some of these ideas. And one thing Tony talks about a lot is the thing called the six human needs. And one time I thought, wow, guitar relates perfectly to this concept. I thought about each of the six needs and how guitar fulfills them. So much so that I wrote it out on paper one time and I was working at a music store and my manager saw it and he thought it was so important that he actually put it in the company-wide newsletter for everybody to read. So I thought it'd be a good thing to bring to you guys so that you could see how when you get really get into guitar, it's almost impossible to imagine your life without it. And here's why. It's because it fulfills all six of these human needs. Let's start off with the first one, which is certainty. And we all need things that we're certain about in life. Otherwise, our life would be complete chaos. Like you need to know that you're going to eat today. You need to have a place to, to live. You have to have clothes to wear, all that stuff. But after that, when it comes to certainty, guitar definitely fulfills that for me. You know, when I was in junior high, I really dreaded every day I was in school. I just couldn't wait to get home. I would be in study hall and I would be thinking about practicing guitar. I would bring this uh, finger exerciser that they had back then. Uh, I would just try to keep my hand in shape because I knew I was going to go home and play guitar. I wanted to just get better no matter where I was. And uh, so I would go home and I would just always have that to look forward to. So it was kind of like having, like I talk about in other videos, like a best friend that's always there for you. In a crazy chaotic world of junior high, which I lived through, uh, I always had something to be certain about. And that's that I could go home, pick up my guitar, and get lost in the world of music. So for me, that's where the certainty came in. The second human need is actually the opposite of that, which is kind of funny, because uh, it seems like a contradiction, but it's uncertainty or variety. When you start to play guitar, you know, you start off with a few lessons and you play those all the time, but eventually your brain just goes, what else is there? And it wants to keep learning. Well, as you know, there's always something new to learn with guitar, no matter how good you are. Like Eric Johnson, even when he tours, he says he takes a guitar lesson from each major city that he visits. And that goes to show you, no matter how great you are, there's still more to learn. So even though guitar gives you that feeling of certainty, that you always have something to, to play and something to look forward to doing, the uncertainty is what keeps things exciting and keeps you coming back for more. The third human need is significance. Now this could be mistaken, I think, for ego gratification, but it's not that. What it is, is when you start to play guitar, you know, a lot of people complain about feeling sort of lost or they feel unimportant or disposable or invisible. But when you start to play an instrument and you start getting good at something, something happens inside. There's this new sense of significance within yourself. And in a way, it's just growing your confidence because you're like, you know what, I can do something and I can get better at something. And if I just keep trying and playing it, even though it can be very difficult at, at times, uh, I can overcome things. And all of a sudden, the idea of significance starts to creep in a little bit. And that eventually overflows once you get uh, really good at something. And then other people see you as significant in certain ways. Like, for example, when we played the Junior High Talent Show, I told the story a million times now, but we were basically invisible. We were kind of uh, made fun of a lot. We were a group of just freaks in the school. And once we played music live for the for the whole school, suddenly it's like we weren't invisible anymore. People were like, oh, those are the guys that play the talent show. And it just felt good. It felt like we belonged somewhere and it felt like, okay, we're actually uh, doing something and we're getting recognized for it. So you, your ego can take over if you let it during that, but I don't see it as something as, hey, look at how great we are. Significance to me just means that you're not invisible, that you're actually doing something important in this world. And it gives you a different feeling when you wake up in the morning. You actually have a reason to get out of bed. And if you know that feeling like I did in my life where, you know, why even get out of bed today? What's the point? It's one of those things where uh, having that feeling of significance can make all the difference. The fourth human need is love and connection. And I've talked about this a lot of times. It's kind of why I leave the heart up back there that my student drew. It's like the love that you will have when you play guitar is something that you can't really describe because at first you think guitar is just playing some strings on a piece of wood. But once you start to play music, you start to uh, connect with music in a different way. It becomes this feeling of love every time you play. Connection, for sure. I mean, you're already holding this vibrating piece of wood as you play. That's why I think guitar is so popular because it feels like it's alive when you're playing it. So you're already connected to it physically. But when it comes to connecting with other people through your music, that's a whole nother level. For 
for me, it was when we played certain shows that had a lot of people and we would play a song and we'd have the whole crowd singing back to us. It was an amazing feeling. It was almost like I kind of left my head for a while. I was just watching everything from far away. And you're, you're still playing, but it just feels like everybody in the room is contributing to this, uh, this moment. And it's this feeling of connection with every single person in that building. And of course, when you're connected to something like you are to guitar, uh, it's just it's just natural that you're also feeling love when you're doing it. Just a side note, I literally used to sleep next to my guitar. So uh, if that isn't love, I don't know what is. And the fifth human need is the need for growth. And that's kind of a no brainer when it comes to guitar. Every time you play it and you practice and you get a little bit better, you feel like you've grown as a guitar player. Now what's great about that is guitar can find its way into other parts of your life where you start to feel like, oh, now I'm growing as a musician too, not just a guitar player. And then that can equal, okay, now I feel like I'm growing as a human being. I know I jump from here to here real fast, but uh, if you play guitar for a long period of time and you play with other musicians and you form bands and you connect with all these people, it's almost impossible not to grow as a person as well. I feel like if it wasn't for guitar, I would probably still be in a basement somewhere just doing something real nerdy. I probably wouldn't be the most social person. Uh, guitar forced me to get out there and uh, talk to people and be a lot more social than I want to. My inclination is to just sort of hide in my uh, studio and just do my thing. But when it comes to guitar, it kind of forced me out the door. And before I knew it, I was meeting all sorts of people, uh, joining other bands, getting involved in other projects, starting to record with other people. So my growth as a person came through guitar. And if you ever read the book, The Book of Five Rings, which is a great read for a lot of people who want to improve in things uh, and just learn more about life, he talks about how if you get really good at one thing, you see it in many things. So the path that you take to master, say, guitar, could be found in uh, other endeavors as well. So not only are you growing on this instrument, you could also be growing in many other directions if you choose to. So the final human need in the list is the need for contribution, to feel like you're contributing to something. Now for me, that took a while because I was kind of a selfish guitar player in the beginning because I just focused so much on getting better by myself. So I'd sit in my bedroom and I'd practice for hours and I just wanted to play the next hardest thing and be this shredder guy and everything. And so a lot of it was just self-focusing, you know, really getting good. But when I started teaching, everything changed as far as feeling like I was contributing. I was really nervous at first, you know, everybody is when they first start to teach because they're so used to being isolated and getting good at something. But as soon as I started reaching out and actually giving back the, the gift of guitar playing to people. It was an amazing thing because I learned so much through it. And just by giving it back, I felt like, okay, this is sort of a, a secular pattern here. It's not just me getting really good at something. It's now it's offering that gift to somebody else and watching them develop it. And it was a really good feeling because I had to get out of my own head to become a better teacher. And I had to think like, okay, when I was in their position, what would have been the best way for me to learn something? You know, because I learned a lot of things the hard way. So I wanted to make it uh, a little more of a better experience for them. And then when I started playing in bands, we would show up at gigs and we would start playing and the audience would just look like they're starting to light up a little bit. I'm sure the alcohol helped as well, but we were part of all that. You know, they may have had a tough week and here they are watching a band play on the weekend and uh, we we're making their day or we were making their week actually. It was a great feeling too. And of course, through my YouTube channel and my lesson site, I feel like I'm contributing every day to the up and coming guitar players who want to learn. So it's a great feeling to come here, lay down a few video lessons, upload them and know that a lot of people are going to be learning from them. And uh, to me, that's just an endless source of contribution uh, from my perspective. So what would be interesting to me is if you guys could leave a comment and tell me how guitar has helped you meet any of these or all of these six human needs in your life. Because I always want to hear other people's perspectives because obviously I can only give you mine, but I learn a lot by hearing you guys' feedback on these lessons and these videos. All right, so we'll see everyone at the next video and uh, be sure to leave your comments. All right, see ya, bye. All right, so those were the six human needs that I learned from Tony Robbins back in the day. Over all these years of utilizing that and really seeing how guitar uh, fulfills all of those needs, I also discovered one more. And to me, this is very important being a musician. And that is the, the human need to be creative, to create. You know, I went a lot of my life just playing other people's music, 
playing in cover bands and all that. But once I started playing original music, when I started contributing my solos and playing parts that I wrote, I really felt this new level of fulfillment. And especially today, I've been doing a lot of videos, usually two to three per day now. Uh, that go on my website and it's great because every day I come in I know what type of lesson I want to do but I always do a challenge song with it so I have to write a small musical piece almost every single day lately I've just been feeling very fulfilled and happy and excited to come here and I'm like I wonder if that has a lot to do with the fact that every single day I come here I either have to create a challenge solo or a challenge song to go along with my lessons on the website so to me that's some sort of fuel that I now am comfortable calling a human need at least for myself and I'm sure a lot of musicians out there can relate and if you feel a little bit stifled or you don't feel as fulfilled as you might want to feel as a musician try to start creating even if it's something nobody's ever going to hear so just write for the for the garbage can like paul mccartney said write and uh, compose create maybe write a solo to a backing track that you find online write your own uh, backing track it's just something about getting your creative side out into the world like i said even if no one else ever hears it uh, if they do that's great too but it's just sort of like this feeling of purpose, like you're here to create. And I didn't connect that till much later, but I had to add that as a bonus human need only because I think it will resonate with a lot of people. Sure, there are some people out there that aren't really in the creative world and they still feel very fulfilled. That's why I left the six human needs uh, as, as one, you know, in the first part of this video. But I had to throw in this last one only because it means so much to me personally uh, as a musician. So, all right, that's it. We'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.